So before we start this video, I have a serious question for Kuzma. Cal Kuzma, what the hell are you doing on Good Morning, Good Morning America? What could you possibly be on Good Morning America for? I'm not even trying to hate. Let's see. We'll be getting shooting hoops on the court of his local YMCA in oh, Flint, shit. Michigan, to clinching a championship with the Lakers. Shit. Our next guest has cemented himself as one of the best front court players in all of basketball. He is. So obviously, this lady does not know anything about basketball because she just said, Cal Kuzma. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, that shit made me laugh. <laughs> she said, "What are the best of the?" Uh... <sighs> Fire her right now. I'm just some. Um... No, I'm saying I'm just playing. But yo, ain't no way you just fucking said that. Being Washington Wizards forward and entrepreneur Kyle Kuzma. All right, Kyle. Good to see you, man. And, and I was telling Rihanna, I love this outfit that you got on. Looking very it. chic. Looking very. Hey, Kyle, he be putting this on. Kyle put this on every time. Hang on. Nice. Thank Pull you. together. We love to see it. So you spent a lot of time, of course, playing for the Lakers, and at times you were pretty much in the, you know, the back, you know, yeah. playing in the back seat. And now you're with the Washington Wizards, where you were leading uh, the team. Talk about that transition first. You know, it's been an unbelievable transition. You know, and, and for me, um, I was blessed and, and and grateful to play in front of or play behind some great players. You think of LeBron James, Anthony Davis. And I really got to take a back seat, and, and I, I don't like to call it a back seat. It's more so a front row seat, and I can watch those guys and, and watch uh, their movements and how they approach the game and how they approach their profession. And I've been able to take that to Washington and, um, you know, just thrive. And it's been great. And I love this. I feel like... <laughs> it's been great. <laughs> Be fucking for real. We can all learn a little something from you because you said no matter who you're on the court with, yeah. you consider yourself the best player. Where does this, yeah. this confidence come from? How do you Even she laughing about the shit. Nigga. I still can't go over the fact that you just said he one of the best front court players. In <laughs> that Talk mindset. Stuff, yeah, you said I'm the best no, no matter what. No, I mean, what. um, I've been working really, really hard my entire life, so I feel like there's no reason for me not to be a confident. You know, and I think a lot of my irrational this is pissing me off. No confidence is, um, it's very important to me because when you're playing at this such a high level, there's only been 4,000 NBA players in the history of the sport. So you have to have some type of edge when you're playing against the greatest and, and the elites every single. It's understandable. But some of y'all niggas are ass. Hey, you one of them. Good night, so. You know, I can step out on the ledge and hey, say I you get. I respect you, don't be a listen. I don't care, I, I, I'm not hating. I respect Kyle Kuzma. You made it out of four thousand people, but 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 let's be for real. Out of the four thousand, this is your professional job. You can pay for this shit, millions of dollars for this shit. You better fucking perform. And lately, I ain't like Kyle Kuzma. You have been shitty for the past three years to me. To me, in my opinion, I'm a Lakers fan. And Kyle, get it from your mom. Be fucking for real. Because mom that too. played varsity <laughs> basketball yeah. uh, for two years. How did she inspire your career, or did she? Oh, it inspired me tremendously. You know, for her, um, when I was growing up, she worked two jobs, and that hard work and dedication just to, you know, make ends meet and put food on the table, that's, that's been my inspiration my entire life. And, and seeing that at a young age and seeing how um, someone – of her just leading by example uh, for her kids and, and everything, it was you know all I really needed. So I love to hear that yeah. love for your mom. But we got to talk about the pink sweater because you're not only a force yeah. on the court, yeah. but also you're a bit of a. Fa so you did not put that shit on. You did not put that shit on. Take that shit off. You usually put that shit on when I when I see your outfits. You you clean, but to take that shit off, that is not it. This ain't fashion. What, why do niggas call this fashion? This is not fashion. The beanie throwing it up. Beanie, take, take the beanie off. You can put, at least put a, a cap on or some shit. This is not drip twin. This is not, this is not, you did not put that shit on. Fashion icon, yeah. there it is. That's you can see it. You made it. No. Would you like it? Would you like it? Oh, okay, good. I totally love it. Yeah. It went by, bro. Stop holding the nigga. Stop, 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 stop lying to this nigga. 
You uh, made headlines with it. Yeah. Even uh, got turned into a bobblehead. So where where do you get your fashion <laughs> inspiration? Make <laughs> loan this nigga. Get it from your girlfriend, maybe? Does she? Oh my god. Let me see what comments are saying. Well, I'm... she help you out, your model girlfriend? You know, everybody thinks that. You know, I think, um, you know, for me, uh, it all started when I was younger, and my great or my grandmother used to make us go to church with her. So, dressing up for church, that was always a thing every Sunday. And from there, you know, I was like that 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 young light skinned kid that's going to church and everybody loves me and, you know, dress nice and, and from there, you know, it's always been, you know, it's a first impression. Speaking of your love of fashion and design, yeah. it has led to an apparel collection, a foot collection for you, uh, entitled mm -hmm. uh, Childhood Dreams and, and Puma. How do you use this collection to sort of collect connect to your roots? You talked about the church. Yeah, well, I think for me, the biggest thing with, um, you know, my brand and, and childhood dreams is everybody growing up has dreams, right? Um, so whether that's to be an NBA player, to be a talk show host, to be a fashion designer, but a lot of those dreams and aspirations come from when you're a child. And for me, um, you know, that's where everything I've done in my entire life has came from, and uh, my roots have made me who I am today. So. And let's talk about that because you grew up in Flint, Michigan. Mm -hmm. We saw a video of you playing at your local YMCA. Um, talk about what that experience growing up in Flint, what it meant to you, to the man you became today. Oh, well, the YMCA was amazing. You know, for me, it was a place where I could I could be safe oh, and I could just be myself. And, you know, a lot of times my mom would be working um, eight, nine hours a day. And, um, you know, I would have to take the bus sometimes super early in the morning in the summers just to be there. And I wanted to be there because, one, there's nothing to do at home. And, two, I love basketball. So me being able to get to the Y early and uh, play against the older guys at, like, 12 when they had their lunch break and be, being able to stay until 5 to play with my guys, it's, it's helped shape my life, um, who I am today. So. You know, just with our conversation, we can tell you had a big heart. Yeah. And speaking of having a big heart, yeah. you got a surprise for your hometown YMCA. So they are joining us. Yes, we from do. From Flint, Michigan. What's up, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's up, everybody? Right here, Kyle <laughs> Kuzma, and he has a huge announcement for you guys. Uh, Kyle, what do you have to say to him? Well, thank you guys so much. Um, I am donating a million dollars to the Flint YMCA. Ooh, wow. Uh, wow. Okay. I think what I said back, a milli? That boy balling like that, boy. You couldn't do nothing less than a milli, boy. Psh. You making millions and shit, boy. Psh. If I'm there, I'm going crazy, boy. A million dollars? Um, wow. I'm extremely Amazing. excited um, to give you guys this opportunity. I know for me, the YMCA has been extremely big part. <laughs> Why she walk out like that? She didn't want to be out here, but she said, oh, hell, whoop, no. Opportunity. I know for me, the YMCA. She stepped out that bitch fast. Look, 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 look. Extremely we were going in two seconds. Big part of my life, and I never really had amazing resources. And for you guys, uh, I want to make sure you guys have that, and, and the younger generation in Flint. So, thank you, YMCA. Hope you appreciate it. Love you guys. Yeah. from you guys there on the ground. Shelly, if you can hear me, you're the CEO of the YMCA there. Tell us what this donation means to you and the YMCA. How will this help the community? Oh my gosh, this is so special. It's so personal for the Flint YMCA. <laughs> this This ain't funny. But damn, boy. They all teach like, oh, what the fuck do we say? They all suck. Like, the CEO of the YMCA there. Tell us what this donation means to you and the YMCA. How will this help the community? <laughs> what? Y'all see what I'm talking about? Why they stop like that? Hold on, hold on. What Dude, is... How will this help the community? <laughs> he looking at it like, bitch, say something. <laughs> Yo. He looking at this whole like, bitch, say something. No, my nigga, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Look how she looking like, what the fuck you gonna say, Robert? Say some shit. <laughs> Get scared of fun. I know they scared. I'm really nervous. Oh my gosh, this is so special oh and so personal for the Flint YMCA. This gift is going to help us build a state of the art. Damn, that nigga crack. That nigga, that nigga smile ain't cracking. That nigga, he, he holding on to that smile. Boy. Art facility. It's going to be. Holding on to that shit.
She looked mad. Place for summer basketball camps. It's going to be a place for families to come recreate together for pickup games. Uh, this is just, it's extremely Let's exciting. So on behalf of the staff, our volunteers, and most importantly, our members, I just want to say a huge yeah. thank you. Yeah, this is really, really yeah, a big sure. deal right here. We love to see it. And not only do we have folks from the community there, but Kyle, Kyle's mom, Carrie, is there. Carrie, hello to you. Hey, mom. <laughs> so tell us, what does it mean to you, Mom, just seeing your son giving back to his roots in such a major, major way? Um, I think it's just going to be a great thing for the community uh, and the city of Flint um, and for the members. I think it's something that they really deserve. They've, you know, hung in there with this wife for so many years. Um, it's been needing some upgrades. So well, she was nervous to foot, boy. So this is going to be a great thing. Then they look like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm kind of nervous too. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I kind of feel like the tension in the room because, like, they look like they, they forced to do this shit. Dude. We, we all forced to do this shit? Are y'all at gunpoint right now? I was trying to play. It's just a joke. For the city of Flint and the members and the families, just more space. Um, and just a safe place for the kids, more programs, like she said. Um, I think it's just going to be awesome for the city of Flint. And Kyle, thank you so much um, for being such a great Aww. human. And oh, oh, damn, I feel bad for making, for laughing. Damn. That shit ain't funny. She crying and shit. Give me back. Damn. Mom, what are you doing? You're trying to make everybody oh, do it. <laughs> It's an emotional time for you. Uh, we want to switch it around just a little bit. Can you tell us any funny stories about this young man? Was he always a good kid? He was always a good kid, honestly. <laughs> like, he never never really got in trouble. Um, and like he said, like, you know, I would drop him off sometimes, you know, before work, and he would have to stay here for eight hours until, you know, I could get out of work to come get him. And it's... You know, it just shows the commitment that he has, and that's why he is where he is. And, um, wow, boy, that's she crazy. Ain't nothing like your mama supporting you, bro. It's just like, it's different. It's a different feeling. Like, it's like, damn, like, when your mom proud of you, it's like, you know, you're doing something good in life. You know, you progress. You know, you, you are worth being born. If that makes sense. He's, I'm so proud of what he's done on the court, but more. <laughs> Importantly, what he's done off the court and continues to do. And just, um, God has blessed him to be able to help other people in the community. And it just really means a lot to me. And guess what, Mom? We're proud of you. Hats off mm. to you for what you did. You raised a good young man. Yes, yeah, she did. Wow. Uh, she she did. Yeah. Very special, what a special moment, and, and just so excited for all of them. Uh, again, thanks so much for being with us today and, and, and all that you were doing, uh, giving back to your community. It is nice to see you're setting an example mm -hmm. for so many of us to always give back. Never forget where you came yeah. from. Appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you. Definitely. Using your platform for thank good. You. Thank you. That is such an inspiration, Kyle. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. What a music. GMA fans, rock. I love her. Anyway, hopefully you have a good reaction, man. Like, subscribe, comment if you know. I love y'all. Shit, I, I never thought in my life I'd be saying this shit. Shout out Cal Kuzma, man. Shit. That shit crazy.